Every classroom has done some enrichment of art or poetry, and it will be displayed on the walls as you walk down. It will all be related to the mural that Bobby um, painted. Um, some use watercolors, sponge paint, markers. You'll see the different mediums. So they all decide on the same, and once one teacher was out in the hallway Friday, and she was doing the, 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 the roots, other teachers came out and they're like, we want that. And so the whole, all the teachers came out and they created roots in the entire hallway, just on the spot. And I think that speaks volumes to the power of art. Yeah. Yeah. It just it just morphs into this amazing community effort. Poems, this art, just, it, just, it gives you moments of pause and wonder. So through working with the community schools team, um, we wanted to have a theme to bring everyone back together, repurpose our alcoves to really connect with students, and the, and the connection is what came up. We need something to resemble connection because we felt disconnected during COVID times. Bobby's painted at night and on the weekends, and so the kids would wake up and come to school and they want to know what she Oh my God, the dog, oh my gosh, they don't have faces. You know, all those fun things, it was just a lot of fun. When I started doodling, nine? yeah, nine. Nine, ten. what inspired me to be a graphic designer was one of my art teachers in high school. She said, "You know what, Mr. Bobby, you should you should look into graphic design." And, and so when I looked into it, I said, "You know what? This is something I enjoy doing. It, it's it, it has to do with uh, communication, so you communicate visually." So that's what inspired me. This uh, project means a lot to me for several reasons. I think when I was approached from uh, one of the counselors, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Dennis, Ms. Dennis, she uh, wanted me to work on some, one, one mural and, and it turned out to be two murals. And uh, when I heard what the theme was uh, and, and, and also when I heard more and learned more about the school, uh, being, it, being it's a community school, and all the things and the cool things they offer to the community, I thought it was a very special project for me. And you know, the theme for the project was aspen trees at first, and and the whole connection with the root system and the aspen groves and how we all need each other. And that just triggered more ideas, and it triggered uh, uh, another idea for this mural that we're seeing here. Uh, this is uh, it's got some aspen trees, but it's more related to to the younger kids, and so. It has to do more with uh, friends and family and the outdoors and spending time with each other and being, being uh, just taking on nature and just being out there in the, the wilderness. It makes me feel
with my family. It makes me feel happy because um, there's a whole bunch of things you can find in the woods. Butterflies uh, travel, as you know, monarch butterflies uh, down south, so they have, have that connection where migrate migration, and so maybe they're welcoming this butterfly back home uh, after a long trip from from Mexico, and and to me that that was just very symbolic and wanted to include that in there. I think that's amazing how he could like paint all of this and like he probably did some mistakes but he made them better so I think that's cool like it inspires me to like keep going with like what my teacher helps me with and like how to get better at it. Their roots you can see they're connected on the bottom and it's kind of like this school where all the kids are connected even the teachers are. <laughs>